الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من نفس عن مؤمن قربة من قرب الدنيا نفس الله عنه قربة من قرب قرب يوم القيامة ومن يسر على مؤسر يسره الله في الدنيا والآخرة ومن سطر مسلما سطره الله في الدنيا والآخرة والله في عون العبد ما كان العبد في عون أخيه ومن سرك تريكا يلتمس في علما سخر الله له به تريكا إلى الجنة ومجتمع قوم قوم في بيت من بيوت الله يتلون كتاب الله ويتدارسونه بينهم إلا نغلت عليهم السكينة وغشيتهم الرحمة وحفتهم الملائكة وذكر الله في عنده ومن أبطأ به عمله لم يسر به نسبه أو كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم رواه مسلم On the thought of Abu Hraira, may God be pleased with him that the Holy Messenger of Allah, the peace and mercy of Allah be upon him, he said, whoever removes the worldly grief of a believer, Allah will remove one of the griefs of this world. And whoever alleviates the need of a needy person, and Allah will alleviate his need of this world also in the hereafter. And whoever shields or hides the misdeeds of a believer, Allah will hide his misdeeds and bad actions in this world also in the hereafter and Allah will aid the believer who aids his brothers and whoever follows the path that leads to him to the knowledge that the Almighty will make ease him, ease him the path that leads to paradise and if some people gather together in one of houses of Allah and recite the book of Allah and studying among them but tranquility descends upon them and mercy of Allah envelops them and the angels surround them and the Almighty and sends them amongst those who are with him. And who is thrown down by action will not be hastened or worked in line in age. Respected viewers, this hadith reveals many good lessons. Whoever removes one of grief of another believer in this world and Allah will remove one of his griefs of this world and whoever alleviates the needy person then Allah will alleviate his need of this world after the year after. Respected viewers, this is the great mercy of the Almighty that a believer in this world fulfills only one need of another believer. What the Almighty fulfills all his needs of this world also in the hereafter. And whoever shields or hides the bad deeds of another believer, then Allah Almighty 
will hide his bad deeds or misdeeds of this world or in the hereafter. Respectful viewers, man is a sinful by nature. He commits sin by misreading the devil and the inordinate soul, it means the nafsya mara. But Allah Almighty, by His unlimited mercy, forgives the sins of the earth. As the Holy Quran reveals, La taqna tu mi rahmatillah, inna Allah jafru dhruba jamiya. Allah Almighty says, O oh my slaves, don't despair from the mercy of Allah. Allah Almighty will forgive all the sins of the earth. He is forgiven and merciful. So this believer thinks that if this believer is sinful, then I am also sinful one. So let him hide. And Allah Almighty aid the believer so long as he aids the other believer. It means if a faithful believer helps to another believer in some matter, then Allah Almighty helps him as long as he helps the other believer. Look what is the great mercy of the Almighty that if a believer helps, then Allah helps him. It's a very great thing that Allah helps a believer. This is a point of ponder. And if a man follows the path that leads him to the knowledge, then Allah Almighty will make the easy of his path that leads to paradise. Notable the knowledge according to the teachings of Islam is the knowledge of Deen. It means the knowledge the of Holy, Holy Quran, the Hadith and the jurisprudence. And if some people gather together in any mosque and they recite the Holy Quran and studying among themselves, it means they remember the Holy Quran and also they attention, pay attention that lest there is some fault in others, so they correct it. And due to this tranquility of Allah, tranquility descends upon them and mercy of Allah involves them. And Allah Almighty remembers, mentions them amongst those who are with Him and the angels surround them, these people. And if a man he is slowed down by action, may not be hastened forward in line marriage. It means if a person belongs to a high status religious family and he is proud of it and he does not put action or he does not follow the teaching of Islam thinking that I belong to a high status religious family, so I, I will be forgiven in the day of judgment. So this is wrong. Because Allah Almighty will decide the among the people due to the book of record that are pre, that is preparing by Two angels, Kiram and Katibin, and Allah Almighty will decide due to this book, according to this book, whether these Muslims 
or whether this man's actions are good or bad, whether he is a Muslim or infidel or mushrik, so everything will be done according to the book of record. So it is necessary that every man should do actions, good action, particularly, particularly those belong to the high status religious family, thinking that if we do the good action, we will be forgiven at the day of judgment and we will get the better reward. We are the Almighty. So give, give us the feed to act upon this release. Amin, Omar, Ina, Idal, Brahma, Bhim.